Hi guys, this is Isha Kapoor and you're watching Vlogish. So, the first ever rule that I got to know about being happy is to be impeccable with your word. Now, what does it mean by being impeccable with your word? Impeccable, the word itself says without sin. So, when you are speaking, this speaking na, jisse main aapse communicate kar pa rahi hu, sabse badi ability mere liye, is speaking ko aise mat use karna ki ye aapki sabse kharaab ability ban jaye. Don't commit sin while speaking. Now, how do you commit sin while speaking? When you say things that you don't mean, when you lie, when you don't speak the truth, or truth bolne ka bhi ek tarika hota hai hamesha. You know what is what the what is the power of your word? Your word is like this line. Okay, let me say this is the line. Okay, from here to here, here at one end of your word lies uh, the things that you don't mean okay when you misuse your word against somebody or when you try to sp spread your poison knowingly or unknowingly to somebody this is living hell hell on earth and this end this beautiful end here are the situations when you use your words words wisely when you say what you mean when you practice being impeccable with your word this is heaven on earth there is only love here there is only positivity here there is only happiness here this is the power of your word in one single what is poison your poison is the anger inside you the jealousy that you have inside you the thoughts the bad thoughts that you might be having inside you because maybe your competitor is doing better than you Maybe you were not able to get your favorite food today. Maybe you think you don't have a good life. So what do you do? You find out people on whom you can take, who, who are actually good targets for you to take your poison out and you start spreading it. But you don't realize that if you start poison spread karna shuru karoge, not only them, not only their personality, but you also are going to die. I don't think you want your personality to die. Just again repeating, just be impeccable with your word. Just be impeccable. Being impeccable does not mean just realizing that I am the best and nobody can say ever uh, something that I don't want to hear about me. Being impeccable means taking responsibility of your actions but not blaming yourself always for everything that's happening around or for anything. Jo hota hai, usse hum hamesha bahar nikal sakte hai, but agar hum blame karenge, to we remain stuck. In that one situation, जहाँ से हम फिर कभी बाहर नहीं निकल पाएंगे, it leads to self rejection and ultimately it leads to a reduction in self love. And when self love reduces, it has a direct effect on self abuse. आप खुद को abuse करते हो, खुद को harm करते हो. इसकी वजह से you leave the room open, the doors open for others to harm you. So this word, this word is the power by which you can either act like a magician or you can act like a black magician and cast a spell by your words. Let me give you a very apt example, which I got to know from the book only. And yes, I've realized many times in life myself also. I've heard it from my elders too and from people who are younger than me too. So there was this woman who was a kind-hearted woman. She was a nice person. She was not a bad human being at all. But one day what happened? She was really uh, frustrated. She had a bad day at work. Her boss was scolding her all day. She uh, realized she got to know that, that she's not going to get promotion this year also. And at back at home, she had a very lovely daughter. The girl was a beautiful chirpy girl. She was like a little chatterbox, little box of joy. So when uh, that woman, the mother came home, the girl like always, she was dancing, she was very happy, she was just enjoying her life and she loved singing. So she was singing, mark my words, she had a beautiful voice. So if you are there, you feel like this is she's singing like a nightingale. She, she had such a voice. 
but uh, what happened her mother was having constant he- headache and that constant headache led her mother to i mean at one point her all her concentration everything that she was trying to also concentrate on her work at the same time while also concentrating on her headache it just vanished and she just lost her cool what she, what did she do she shouted aur apni beti se bola ki shut up you had a de- you have a devilish voice just don't ever sing again i don't want to hear that ugly voice again you have a ugly face just shut up she said something that she didn't mean okay and what happened to that girl now let's try and see it from the little girl's eyes the little girl actually believed her mother and all her life as she was growing up you know what she did she stopped singing she stopped being chirpy she stopped being herself she couldn't go to stage now she didn't go to stage all her school life college life she didn't used to talk to anybody she was too afraid to speak in front of people she was too afraid to sing a singer died a beautiful human died why because her own mother did cast a black spell on her through her words those words by her mother made the girl come to an agreement with her own self what was the agreement that i have a really bad voice and my voice is not such that other people would like to hear it mujhe shayad bolna hi nahi chahiye her whole personality changed now another example there was a little boy little boy uh, once uh, she he was, he was not very good at studies because he was not getting good grades so i'll say ki uske acche marks nahi aate the jab marks nahi aate the to one day he heard her uh, his own neighbors and neighbor aunties neighbor uncles talking that you know this boy won't do anything bilkul kaam ka nahi hai na kar raha hai kuch nahi karega he won't do anything in life and jab wo samne aaya ki oh my god you just keep playing all day what are you doing you'll just be useless for your life and you'll not be able to get good marks in your life and you will fail this year you know what happened then and there the boy was on the stairs then and there he created an agreement with himself what was the agreement that i am good for nothing i'll do nothing in life and i'm going to fail this year no matter how much i study no matter how much hard work i do i'm going to fail because these studies these are this is not cup uh, my cup of tea that agreement that he created with himself actually succeeded into reality and he failed that year failed not in life he failed in class that year in his class that year that was a magic spell he grew up to be a boy who was not interested in studies he just used to hate them he used to avoid teachers he he loved avoiding school even one day uh, that boy uh, met a very nice friend okay that boy was all grown up now he did something really good he was very good at math what what did uh, his friend tell him you know uh, the friend went up to the boy and told him that you are very good with math yaar kaise kar lete ho yaar itna acha hai aur you are brilliant you are so smart you are so sharp you are so intelligent you know if you spend one hour each day on this na you'll, you 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 even have the ability to become a mathematician you know what happened there that friend was being impeccable with his words by being impeccable he was able to break a black magic spell that boy could now be free usne apna wo jo agreement apne se pehle kiya tha usne wo tod diya and now he's free to do anything he feels like he actually became good at studies he actually became good in college he did great things why because one person used his words wisely so being impeccable means not using your words against yourself or against anybody else you know these people who are actually saying bad things about you that they don't even mean what they are doing 
they are casting a spell but you know from where that spell is coming that spell is coming from their own poison andar ka zeher koi mile na kabhi aisa jo zeher phaila raha ho aise come to your friend your friend is very good at breaking spells that person is spreading his or her own poison and if you're watching this if you think that you did uh things like these unintentionally somewhere i'm not saying you're a bad person but if you ever uh, have uh, done things like this or if you have committed sins like these this is the time to change जब बॉडी में कहीं पे पॉइजन फैल जाता है वॉट डू डॉक्टर से दैट दिस पार्ट हैज पॉइजन वी नीड टू कट दिस पार्ट ऑफ वी नीड टू डिग आउट द पॉइजन एंड ये हटाना पड़ेगा वरना पूरा बॉडी में फैल सकता है दिस पर्सन कैन डाई योर वर्ड्स योर इनर पॉइजन कैन मेक अदर्स डाई कैन मेक अ पर्सनैलिटी डाई एंड यू सेंग good things the things that you actually mean about people can give them a new life like happened like it happened to that boy you have an example before you so choose what you want to do so the first rule of being happy being positive in life according to this wonderful book let me show you the book this is the book this is front camera so you might not be able to see this is called the four agreements you must have seen this in my last video too this was a part of my night routine so your decision to be wise with your words can break a spell just be impeccable with your word and this will lead to a happy a positive life and will give you good results in your life in your personal life in your career so when you are impeccable with your word when you actually practice this in life your mind is only a fertile ground for love for happiness for positive thoughts you become immune to that hell farak hi nahi padta aane de bakwas karne de kisi ko na aap apne bare mein kharab sochte ho na aap kisi bewakoof ko seriously lete ho aur na hi aap kisi ke bare mein kharab bolte ho you don't cross your limits you know what is human uh, what is human behavior and what is inhuman behavior you understand that difference because you are impeccable with your word so that way jab mind fertile ground sirf love ke liye hi hai to dusre thoughts na aap retain karte ho aur aap retain nahi karte to aap aage bhi nahi dete ho simple if you think you you are still around people who are not impeccable with their word who say things that they don't mean maybe or even if they mean it just try to cut that connection from that person if you want to be happy and positive in life if you think ki opportunities kam ho jayengi ya aapko nahi aap us jagah se nikal sakte to believe me there are a lot of things lot of things agar aapko lagta hai aapko kuch share karna hai you are feeling dejected you are feeling rejected and you want to feel good you want someone to talk to i'm always available here is my insta handle yahi kahi pe hoga usko karke aap you can dm me you can tell me also 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 don't forget to share your thoughts on this video don't forget to share don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe i'll see you in another video bye